guys were asking about the chicken avocado burrito that I posted on my Instagram page. Um, so I thought I'd share with you guys uh, just a little bit about the macros on it. It is 16.8 grams of fat, 21 carbs, 48 grams of protein, and one sugar. So really, really, really healthy meal. Um, super quick. I was in the kitchen for like 20 minutes prepping it and cooking. Um, so during the work week, it's um, a really good recipe for you and your family. Um, if you like this recipe, please thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and for some daily posts and stories, keep up with me on my Instagram page, fitrn underscore 86. So go ahead and start out cooking your chicken. I have about three pounds in my pan just because I like to cook multiple burritos for the week. Um, I season it. You can use any herbal seasoning. I use a tastefully simple dried tomato and garlic pesto mix. Super good and I sprinkled each side with salt and pepper along with that. I seared the chicken about seven minutes on each side. Here I just have one breast. I went ahead and cut it up. I'm only going to use four ounces for my burrito. For me that's enough protein per burrito but if you're male, female, depending on how much protein you want, feel free to use as much as you want. So moving on to the burrito and the toppings, I'm using these flat out wraps. It calls for corn tortilla wraps, but I just wanted to get my protein in, use a healthier wrap. So flat out has these protein up, carb down. It's 12 grams of protein per wrap. Super healthy. It ha only has like 19 carbs in it and 130 calories. So highly suggest this. I got these at Kroger. You can definitely get them at um, Publix also. One burrito wrap is actually a pretty decent size, so you'll be able to stuff a lot of things and make it big. I uh, went ahead and pre-treated a pan with aluminum foil and sprayed it with cooking spray so my wrap doesn't stick to the pan. And then moving on to the actual uh, burrito ingredients, I have avocado and cilantro right here. I'm only using a fourth of an avocado. Um, a fourth of an avocado is about 7 grams of healthy fat, um, but like I said, use as much as you want. But this burrito will only have a fourth, and then I'm also only using a fourth of fresh cilantro. So typically, I make my own pico, um, but I was super lazy, and I saw that it was already pre-made at the grocery store. So I picked up um, just a little tub of this pico. I'm only going to be using a fourth a cup of the pico on my bur a burrito, but like I said, feel free to use as much as you want. Uh, Monterey Jack cheese, I'll be using a fourth a cup of that. And also, I'll be using just one heaping tablespoon of the Greek yogurt original flavor. Um, you could also substitute, if you don't like yogurt, with um, sour cream, but it's not going to be as healthy. You're not going to get the protein in it. Um, and you, honestly, you really can't taste the yogurt. So I highly recommend getting the Greek yogurt. So what I plan to do is go ahead and make my wrap, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like before I wrap it up and cook it. So this is how my burrito looks before I wrap it. Just to go over it one more time real quick to sum it up of how I layered it. I did my one heaping tablespoon of my Greek yogurt and I kind of spread that first. And then I did my fourth of avocado. And then I did a fourth a cup of my pico. A fourth a cup of my cilantro. A fourth a cup of my Monterey Jack cheese. And then I just went ahead and layered the top with my four ounces of chicken. And now I will wrap it up and show you guys what it looks like after I cook it. Alright guys, this is it. I just roasted it for 350 for about 2-3 to three minutes. Watch it though because it gets brown easy. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think.